and then I will uh, I will call you back. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have All right. Uh huh. Bye. -bye. <sighs> you guys, I am so frustrated. Kaylee's homecoming dress that we ordered last Saturday. It is Thursday. Her dance is in two days. Got lost in transit. And it's literally at a facility 10 minutes away from me. Like, I can't even right now. I can't let Kaylee know that it's lost at this point until I come up with, um, she's at school still, but she's been texting me all morning. Um, so that was Amazon and it was their, what did they call it? Their logistics team. Um, and they deemed that the item is lost. And so they're trying to find out how to get one. They're just going to cancel my order and refund me my money, but I need an expedited shipment sent with that dress. Um, and sent to me today. I mean, I ultimately like my goal is to have it sit shipped to me today, but logistically it probably won't get here until tomorrow, but like <laughs> it's not an Amazon item. It's not sold by Amazon. It's sold by another seller. So they don't have as much control over like how quick I think they can get it. And so he's going to call me back because he actually didn't know. He's he's not in customer service necessarily. He's the logistics team at the facility or that has access to the facility where the item is at. And so he didn't actually know how to like reorder it and get the expedited shipping on it because I ain't paying for that expedited shipping. It's their fault. They lost the item and some warehouse worker probably has a really nice dress <laughs> to be completely honest with you. So this is how I wanted to start out my day. It's um, noon. I'm going to run to Walmart. It's already 1230. I've been working on um, the fall decoration video and I need to go to Walmart and return pants that I got, I don't know, like a week ago. They just are, I don't like them. And then um, I want to try and go to TJ Maxx and get a few things. Can I talk about what they are? What day is this going up? I'm looking at my little calendar. I have my little scheduling calendar for this channel. This video is going to go up on October 1st. So yes, I can say what this is for. I need to get a gift. I need to find two gifts if I can. Um, one for my twin sister. She loves these notebooks that I get for my note taking. If you can't tell, I like to make lists <laughs> and schedule and all that kind of stuff. She loves these notebooks as well, and she um, just kind of has a lot going with work and with her church calling and life in general. And she went and got some of these notebooks, but didn't really love the design that she got. And so I've been looking for one that is like more her, and I didn't find any at Marshall's when I went the other day. So I kind of want to find one for her. But I also need to get a wedding shower gift for my little sister who is getting married. Um, she does not know... As of this video, she does, because I'll have already gone. But um, I am surprising her with a trip by myself to go into her wedding shower. For me, it's next week. Um, for you guys, it's already happened, and I'll show you that in the next couple days as that comes up. But um, I am surprising her for that. My mom knows, my two sisters know, my sister-in-law knows. Um, so I had to tell my mom, obviously, like I wanted to tell her and help have her help me coordinate that. And then I told my twin sister because she's going to pick me up from the airport. She lives like 10 minutes away from the Salt Lake airport. And so she's going to pick me up and then we'll both go up to the sweating shower. So it's a surprise that she's going to come to the shower as well, just because it's a school night for her. She's a middle school teacher. And so it's kind of a hard night for her to go up there, but she's willing to come up with me and, and whatnot, make the effort. And because they're doing a family shower as well that I won't be able to make it to. Um, this shower is with all of our friends and neighbors and family that we all grew up with. And it's like all of my mamas. It's like all the ladies that like <laughs> helped raise me. And so, and they're important to my sister too. And so 
it's, I don't know, it's just kind of a fun shower to go to. And so, and also like wanting to support my sister in this, you know, new endeavor with her and her fiance and, and sharing that with her. And so I, you know, want to go down for that, but I want to get her a wedding shower gift. I don't want to embarrass her because she's not really like, I mean, I like to embarrass her, but I also just don't want to like, really, I don't know. I don't know how much I want to embarrass her. I don't know if I want to get her a nightgown mm -hmm. or, you know, other items that she might need. Um, and so, anyway, I have to look at uh, TJ Maxx and maybe Target and see if I can find something for them. I'm babbling. It's been five minutes. I'm going to go and take this mop. Look at this. You can't even see the top of it. I, I, you know how I have my hair curly? Oh, you didn't see that yesterday. Uh, we're a couple days beyond the video that went is that went up yesterday. I have to look at it. Oh yeah, that's the day Ashley was sick. It's been a couple days um, since she was homesick from school. I filmed a fall decoration video yesterday and I had my hair curly and I kind of re-wet it and put some more gel in it last night. And so I need to kind of decide if I'm gonna take it down or leave it up. So I'm gonna go get a little bit more ready you can't tell, I get, the light isn't very good. I do have makeup on, but I don't have mascara on. I'm trying to decide if I should put mascara on. So let's go to Walmart, TJ Maxx, maybe Target. This is my life. But I now have only three hours until the kids are home from school. So let's go. As well, so it, um, it's, it's documented. Uh, once that is delivered, we will refund you that shipping cost. But that's what I was told that we have to once it has to be done once it's been delivered, and then we can refund you whatever that extra cost was for shipping. I mean, I would ex expect that if normal Amazon shipping is like two day shipping, that expedited would be quicker than that. Yeah, it, sh it should be, and you know, it, it because it's not sold by Amazon. That's why it's a little bit harder for me to determine. Uh, just tell you right off the bat, if it was like a, a sold by Amazon thing, then yeah, for sure. Um, that would be no issue, but um, about an hour, you should see those that, that, that credited amount. Okay. And then, um, like I said, you can pick whichever shipping is best, and once it gets delivered, give us a call. It's noted on your account. We will refund you that shipping cost. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Sorry about the confusion and the issue. I, I really hope you get your dress on time. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Uh huh. Bye bye. Bye bye. Beyond. Beyond pissed off. <laughs> I gotta fix this before Katie gets home from school. So I'm setting an alarm on my phone for the next hour so that I can call or order the new dress because that's what I have to do. I have to order the new dress again choose expedited shipping at my own cost until it's delivered and then they'll refund it to me but like you heard it's not sold by amazon so i have no guarantee that they'll do one day shipping oh, super annoying all right you guys i have been on a mad dash so i haven't filmed anything i have gone to what have i gone to nordstrom rack um uh, tj maxx Target. Target actually has, maybe I'll insert a picture of the ones Target had. They're the only ones that I can see maybe her liking. One of them is black, one of them is in like a mustard yellow. It's like a whole new line that Target has. They don't have it at our store. Sometimes they do that with like flagship stores. Um, but I just, I don't know, I'm, I'm getting worried. I'm gonna hop back on Amazon and see if I can find something that has the expedited shipping. Um, I did get, I mean, I wasn't looking for myself. I was looking for something else, and I found, like, this cute, like, lounge shirt. It's technically, like, a pajama shirt. I'm not going to be able to really explain what it looks like, but it's, like, in this, like, super soft material, um, and it, it's really long. It goes, it's like a tunic top type thing, um, but I probably will wear it as an actual t-shirt because some days I just like to feel cozy, and I'm sitting at my desk, and I don't want to be in my pajamas but I want to wear a pair of leggings and just be kind of comfortable or even a pair of sweatpants, but then still be presentable to go out if I want to. So it was on clearance for $6. So I got that and then I can show this. This is for someone I'm going to get that for. Um, they like this notebook. Oh, this is for my sister. 
Um, I forgot who I was gonna give it to, so I didn't want to give it away. But I'll have already seen her when this video goes up. So this is for her. Um, and then I got, so when you go to TJ Maxx, the office section is always, almost always like kind of picked over with these notebooks. And, but they really stock them up in the, like the checkout aisle, at, especially at TJ Maxx. So when I was checking out, this one was on clearance. So I got this one for like a dollar fifty off what like it normally is, and it's like this brown leather kind of look. So I got those two. I almost I wish I had room. Maybe I could take both of them and have my sister choose, but I think she'd want the yellow one. She's kind of a she likes color. So anyway, I I did not do well. So I'm gonna rush home and hop online and try and find a dress. I've got all of my friends scouring their daughters. Um, closets and anyway my battery's about to die <sighs> I'm gonna go get a cold drink and then hop on Amazon and see if we can solve this problem by the end of the day wish me luck I can't even get my order right at McDonald's I'm not really having much luck today <laughs> wish me luck all right we're gonna go over to Kaylee's friend's house I've had all my friends looking through their daughter's closets and anyway hang on can't show you the house number <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go and look and see. Kaylee's friend ordered two of them on Amazon. The problem is, it's expensive. It's more than Kaylee wanted to spend, which she's buying this dress. So the friend has offered to help Kaylee do chores to earn the money. Oh, get me, go, get me a battery. Go get the little black case on the laundry room counter. Can you hold that? Yeah. One? Um, they'll do chores together to earn the money to cover the cost of this dress, which I think is. She's not home? Oh. Okay, well we're gonna go over and try it on soon. So as soon as she gets home, we'll go and try it on. All right, we have a battery. We have our neighbor. Oh, Abby's friends are here. Hang on, <laughs> a lot going on. Hang on one second. All right, sorry, Abby's friends came over. We're going to our other neighbor's house now. She's got some dresses that we're gonna try, and I don't know. I know that Kaylee's getting frustrated. I'm frustrated. I'm more upset than I know. Frustrated. I know you are. And we're gonna figure it out, okay? No, she doesn't want to be on camera either. I just want to record her trying on a few of these if they end up working out. Also, I can't show the house number. Kids play in this little corner all the time. This is where they are when they won't come home. <laughs> They play with all these kids out here in the corner. It's so cute. Also, Abby's friends are walking to the park and they're super cute too. Gonna be a little creep on mom. I know I'm coming. I'm gonna see if she notices me and gets embarrassed. <laughs> she has good friends. Oh, is that your friend Luna? We're at our neighbors. Trying on dresses. None of them work, but Luna is a hit, huh? Oh, Chelsea. She'll be home soon, so. Oh, she's gonna be home soon? Okay, you two come home at 6 o'clock for dinner, okay? Ellen saves the day! Okay, Kaylee, try it on. See if you like it. Okay. Alright, so do you like it? Did you, are you saying yes to the dress? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna embarrass you as much as I can if you're willing to be on camera. <laughs> Do you like it? Okay, let's talk about it. We found the dress. It's right here on my arm. She's gotta pay her friend's mom and earn some extra money. I'm gonna make her work hard for it. I don't know what I'm going to make her friend do, but I'm going to make Kaylee work hard for it because she needs to know that this is like above and beyond the fact that her friend ordered it and has already paid for it and well, the friend's mom. So now it's probably a mac and cheese kind of dinner night because I am tired and I'm not up to making a home cooked meal tonight. All right. So I just spent an hour outside talking to my friend who came over to buy the beds. She bought the bunk beds. Finally, it was yeah. cleared out of the garage, but yeah. <laughs> it meant we had to sacrifice dinner plans. This is what we did. Show them what we have for dinner. Cereal. <laughs> and milk. She doesn't like to have her milk on her cereal. 
But I make her drink the whole cup of milk, right? And even a little bit more? Yeah. Yeah, and then a yogurt, right? Yeah. Okay, that's what we're doing for dinner and when we've had a crazy day. And at school today, you didn't give me a spoon. What did you need a spoon for? My yogurt. Chelsea packed your lunch. There's spoons at the lunchroom. Yeah, I but know that. Did you get a spoon? Did you eat the yogurt? You didn't unpack your lunch bag, though. <laughs> yeah, she laughs about it now, but I'm not happy with it. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I'm, I'm getting Mom of the Year award today, for sure. <laughs> Jason just called, and he's on his way home from work. And he's tired, and he's like, oh, what's for dinner? <laughs> It's like, you know what? No, he doesn't. He doesn't act like that. He doesn't care. He knows that I've had a hard day. He's worried that Kaylee now doesn't have shoes to wear. Oh, he can have this pasta. We made um, spaghetti and meatballs last night. So he can have that as leftovers. I don't know what I'm going to eat. Um, his demographic. We own a shoe store if you're new. <laughs> and his demographic for those that we sell shoes to is not in the market for high-heeled shoes. They're in the market for comfort shoes because they're 70. <laughs> I buy shoes from us too, and a lot of my friends are starting to buy shoes because they realize that our feet hurt, but um, he just doesn't have like dress shoes for her necessarily. So that's our next goal, except I only have like an hour window tomorrow to shop with Kaylee to go find some shoes because she has homecoming game to go to for school. So, anyway, luckily her friend and her mom, they're just, it's just easy to work with them. We're going to trade off taking them to dinner and getting pictures and going to the game and anyway, it helps when you have other parents that are like on the same page and willing to help out and stuff. So, I'm tired. I'm going to get them in bed and then maybe I'll chat with you and Jason and the other kids. I don't even know. Abby went to get candy, I think, to decorate. Candy and decorations to decorate one of her friend's lockers. It's their birthday tomorrow. So she's setting up that locker and doing that whole shebang. So she's not home for dinner, but I didn't know that until two minutes ago. So anyway, that's, you know, I'm not the type of mom that like guarantees that I'm going to have something on the dinner table every single day. I'd like to, but um, I don't beat myself up when I don't. So it's just life. All right, we'll figure out what else we're doing for the night. I want to go get pajamas on and call it a good, actually I want to take a shower. So I'm not going to put pajamas on quite yet. It's already quarter to seven. So I can't really like honor the whole be in bed by seven o'clock and get extra screen time. So, cause it's my fault we're late on dinner. What can you do? <laughs> Good one, got me. Did he get him? Yeah, he was like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to bed. <laughs> Ah, Daddy came home just in time to put your little nuggets to bed. Yeah. You scare him. I need to get some dinner, so you guys gotta hurry. Yep, get in bed. Oh, Lay down. Let's go get your guards. Smell like Cheerios. Yep. <laughs> Where's your guards? It's oh, the breakfast, breakfast of champions. Which one is it? Uh -huh. Opening night garden. I don't know which one it is, though. Pop it in. Is right your tooth? See. Should Daddy knock out that tooth? No! It's time! I hope. Hope. Point to the word. One. Nope. What's this word? It. Rain. Rain. Sound it out. Ah. Uh, yeah. Day. Rat. Rat. What happened? Rain stopped. The rain stopped. Now I like rain, and now the rain. Has stopped. I'm not. I'm. I am not a happy pig. Do, Do not, not worry. worry, pig. I. I am.
have, have water, a water, plan, plan, elephants make make the best best friends friends. Do you like the rain? Kind of. There's tons more people. Yeah, and you read that whole book, book, didn't you? Are you ready to play outside? Right? And that was there's a good... way more elephant piggies at library. Yeah, there's a lot of piggy books at library. Did you know that the, um, what is the books? Oh, is it Ivy and Bean? Oh, Junie B. Jones? Junie B. Jones. The author, I think it's Junie B. Jones. I have to look at my phone. I think it's either Ivy and Bean or Junie B. Jones. The author just died today. So no more of those books. But okay, can you say good night? Good night. I might go down and talk to Jason and have him be on the camera, but he's pretty <laughs> tired and hungry, huh? Say good night. Good night. <laughs> Alright, so I don't know what I'm eating for dinner, but Jason <laughs> just discovered. Well, you can use this tray and then put the rest of these in the freezer. So I made ginger ginger cookies. I think that's what they're called last night. For my book club. I didn't film yesterday. Oh, they're already gone. Um, so I made ginger cookies last night and then I just took all the dough balls and froze and froze them. Can you just get a Ziploc? A gallon size. You're not, there's lots more than here than you think. So I'm just going to put these little guys in a baggie. He's going to make a, a dozen. Oh, there's more in the garage. Is this what, what was in this? Uh, waffles. Oh, we can use this. Can you, let me see, if it, is it wet? It looks damp in there. Can you, <laughs> damp and moist are just not good words. <laughs> just gonna say, I <laughs> thought you were gonna say moist and I was starting to like yes. self gag. Self gag. <laughs> <laughs> that and lover. Oh, yeah. Those words, are, they're not good words. You look at moist lover. <laughs> it's disgusting. I seriously want to hurl. I seriously want to hurl. Okay, so what are we doing? We're chucking a bunch of these. So you're in putting here. some of these in the freezer. Yeah. You only need a dozen left on the tray. Why only a dozen? Because that's all that fit on the tray. Uh, they can bump together. <laughs> no, they can't bump together. He doesn't know how to make cookies, clearly. They're too damp. <laughs> Stop. Don't use any more words like that. They're disgusting. <laughs> Unless you're talking about the weather outside. Not okay. Well, what are you doing? You're taking them all off. Oh my gosh. Let's count how many I have. You're missing two. No. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven. But we can space them better. No. You're just a bad spacer. <laughs> he needs to you're dress me. You're just a bad spacer. Look at how little that Jason, is. Jason, they spread out. Oh my gosh. Well, He's I ridiculous. Feel, I can feel it. No, you Dude, don't feel it. Oh my gosh. Dude, he you're doesn't. Bad. You're bad. <laughs> You're just increasing your carbon footprint. And it is like global kids mad at everyone who doesn't You guys wonder what it's like to live with him. This is like it. Like, it's not cool. Chase, this is how I have them spaced on the tray. Oh, all, I want all my moms. I want all my moms. This is a disgusting tray. Whatever. We've been married 18 years. Don't go near it, Jace. So, you tell me, moms, if this is the, the correct spacing for a dozen cookies on a tray. And that's a small tray too. So, we're gonna cook them. And we're gonna show what they look like when they've spread out and cooked. Ashley, you weren't supposed to come down here. Cause you can't have your cookies no. touch, huh? You can't have your cookies touch. <laughs> they don't cook right when they touch. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. they stay moist. <laughs> Disgusting. I'm gonna go take a shower. I am so done. You go to bed. You are kind of damp, honey. You do need a shower. <laughs> so I'm leaving. These words are disgusting. Oh. Okay, but you moms, you know that that is the correct spacing. Oh, I've totally lost the light. Throwing garbage out into the garage. You know darn well that that's the correct spacing for a dozen cookies on a pan. I think we just need to knock the tooth out. Hold our hands down. Yeah, wiggle it, wiggle it. Hold our hands down. No, no, but move it. Let's just see. Can I just wiggle it? Just wiggle it. Do you wiggle it? You, you wiggle it. I, I wanna, you wiggle it. I want to see what it is. Wiggle it. I can't see. Hold still. No. Wiggle no, it. I'm. 
I'm saying hold still so you don't hit my camera. <laughs> wiggle it, wiggle it. <laughs> wiggle the tooth. No, it doesn't go with me. That's not oh, letting oh, go lost. of you. Oh, okay. All right, Ashley, go I'm going up to bed with you. Go I'm gonna go take a shower. I'm done. How long do I cook these for? Um, once it's preheated, <laughs> tell him how to do this. So I don't that's know how preheated the, works. How long does it go cook for? Eleven minutes. Okay, eleven minutes. And go, go, you're down. Go, <laughs> take a shower. You're inappropriate. You're gonna get this video demonetized. Oh, yes, because damp and moist <laughs> are really high on the censor list. <laughs> Yes. If they knew the context, they would understand and it would get like thrown out of there. It's not. All right, I'm gonna go shower. I'm not doing any bad context. Get your mind out of the gutter and we'll be fine. <laughs> Gosh. But that's why you're saying them. No, I'm not. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to shower. All right, so I've showered. Everyone is up in bed. And Jason, <laughs> I ate two of these cookies, but he conveniently made sure there were not enough cookies on the plate to tell that none of them touched. They all cooked perfectly, perfectly spaced. So, <laughs> I think he hung his head in shame and went to bed. So, I kind of won that battle. Oops, I'm gonna settle down. It's only like 9.45. Um, so, I'm settled in to have a snack and watch a show and then go to bed so thank you for watching you guys and the dress debacle is solved but now we have to look for shoes the ones that we have aren't just don't fit the style so that's my goal for tomorrow and she's going to homecoming game tomorrow night so and we have a little window to try and find her shoes tomorrow I'm gonna ask all of my friends she's kind of in adult sizes for shoes so hopefully that someone has a pair of shoes she can borrow so I don't have to buy them. So take care you guys, have a good night, and we will see you tomorrow.